teach your children. Um, I'm in G on capo two. <coughs> Chords are very simple. I'll put them down in the description, but it's G, C, G, D, and that's all twice. G, C, G, D, and then the third time. I'm playing it like this, which I'll tell you why in a minute. And then back to G. <laughs> okay, so this is finger style. Steady thumb. Now, here's the, here's the deal. So what we're trying to do is get the melody and keep that thumb going. So if we just take it slow, we start with the G chord. The melody starts, and I'm playing my G like this. You can do it like this as well. Is the open B. You can do it simply like you who are on the road, which is open B to the first fret. I do a little pull off. Who are on. Playing that G string, second fret, and pulling it off. And then and that gets me to the C chord. Now, I'm playing it like G, G like this, and I'm keeping this note here, which makes it what's called a C over G. So I keep the thumb going from the sixth to the fourth. C. The melody is first fret B, third fret B, open E, and then back to the third fret B, and then that takes you back to the G chord. So, so far we have a G chord. And then, so that anticipates the C change. to a D. Now I'm playing a D over F sharp, which is 6th string, 2nd fret, G string, 2nd fret, B string, 3rd fret. And I'm playing it with these three fingers. Why? Because I have to change from this to this. If you want to play a regular D, you can do that. So it'd be... sharp so then you basically repeat that string, open A string, second fret A string, third fret B string. And we're on the C chord. Now it is the G string. That's the, the B string first fret.
third fret of the B. It's called an E minor seventh chord. And then C. And I just moved that up two frets. So now I'm on the third through the fifth frets. Why? Because I need to get this melody note. So it's and no. And then you just go to the second fret of the G. Yay. Now you're back to the G. Love. So the trick is, you don't have to worry about getting back to a whole G chord there. All you need is this low G note on the E string. I'm <laughs> sorry. And then you can form the rest of the chord as you go. So the whole trick to this is getting that melody and then fitting it in with the thumb, you know, so it's... And you can hear sometimes I'm playing with the thumb, sometimes I'm playing between it. Uh, between it. There's no pattern to say, just keep doing this. You, of course, can just play a straight finger-picking pattern through the chords. It sounds nice. But I'm trying to get the melody in here. Good luck.